Hello everyone, my name is Yvonne Gagliardo. I'm a personal trainer and I work with San Diego Dance Theater. I will be teaching four sessions of creative aging and we welcome all of you. Hot day. So I hope you're ready to dance uh, class number two. We're going to be doing some of the same things we did in class one, just adding a few things. So let's just remember how we want the spine to be lengthened before we start nice and long. We're right here, neutral position, shoulders hard down and back. The head is propped on top of the spine and your weight's on your whole foot. Let's go ahead and start the first exercise. We're going to open the arms here and then sink. Those both take four counts. Then come up two, let's contract three, four. One, two, three, four. We're gonna, this time, spiral around the spine. Three, four. Then we're gonna release the upper body like we did yesterday. Roll those shoulders back. From here, we're just gonna do a flat back. Roll up, this is base of the spine, thoracic spine, upper spine. Reach up, we're gonna swing, really release that back, and open here. Just start again, our hands are already here. Four, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We can turn our hands over, twist around, a la Cunningham. Come here, release the back around, raggedy hand and shoulders. And from here, we're just gonna carve this space and go to a flat back. Roll up. From there, we creep the hands up, soft hands, and swing, and open. Nice, easy opening. Let's try it, we'll do it four times. How is that for sound, loud enough? Get in the right spot. Five, two, three, and four. Let's lift up, three, higher, and sink. Two, three, four. Let's go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.
Come back up the same way. Hug a big ball. Feel like you're rounding your arms around that ball. Open, lengthen each time. Let's go to the right. Center, left, returning to that neutral position. Release the body, come around. Roll the shoulders bit back. Reach up to the ceiling. Open up, head comes through the arms. Flat back and roll up. Let's try that again. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in, arms come up. Round up. Open. Let's go to the left. Side bend. Side bend the other way. Release the upper body. Roll around. Roll the shoulders back. Scoop something up over the head. Open, flat back, and roll up. Lower back, middle back, shoulders, and head. Strike the music. to the back. Ball, point, always starts with this. Right? Then you go to the side, plie, side, plie, and straight. Transfer your hips to the side, those big rocks. Transfer them back and come back in. Then you do that on the left. Now we're going to the back. Ball, point, ball, plie. I'm not sure I did that last time. Tondu, plie. Every time, knees over the toes, plie. Go to the back, hardest one of all the balance. You're on this straight, narrow pathway here. Push back on the bent knee, transfer the weight to the front leg, and pull it in. So we're gonna do that front to the right, front to the left, front side to the right, side to the left, and back and back. Here we go. And five. And six, and five, six, seven, eight, ball. And point, ball, plie. On to two, three, four, one, two, three, four, slow. Here's the 
transfer a little bit quicker. Ba, ba, other side. Ball. Point. Ball, plie. So I'm doing two, three, four, into the plie. And one, two, three. Lots of up and down. Weight transfer to the lunge. Back. Close. To the side. Plie. Side. Bring the outside of the foot in. Side. Outside of the foot in a little quicker. One, 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 and close. And one. A little disco action here. Plie. Again, side. Plie. And side. Transfer. Transfer to the back. Here it is. Ball. A little balance. Take it behind you. In. Repeat that. Behind you. In. Transfer the weight. Little balance problem. Maybe not. And point. And the A inside to the back. Four counts in. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, one, one. Let's add a balance. We take our arms to the side. We're going to pick up that right leg. Five count roll. See if you stay here for four, five, four, three, two, and one. Test yourself. See if you can rise up on the heel. Try the other side. Two, three, four, five. Can you lift the heel up? Okay. Let me turn off the music. What I want to say about balance here, so for your information, your center of gravity is right here just below the navel. So if you're trying to balance, you want to move the center of gravity over to the supporting leg. So when we were standing on the, let's say we were standing on the right leg, lifting up the left leg, you have to shift these big rocks to the side. In order to stay on that one leg, some people, you know, waver around, we want to be right there. You have to shift, right? Let's try it. So stand on your right leg, pick up your left, shift the center of gravity over there. Now, the last thing is, is when you're trying to lift up, you have to have most of your weight on the ball of the foot so you can lift the heel. And maybe the shoulders are just slightly in front of the hips when you try to rise. Yeah? Okay, nice. All right, now that your feet are warm and your back is moving a little bit, lots of good mobility in the back, let's use our upper body to do some shapes in space. Uh, we're just going to do the arms now, and then later on in the class, we're going to add the legs. So the arm pattern starts, I usually start everything on the right. So arm pattern scoops around and scoops around. kind of feels like a breaststroke. You're going to swim, swim. You're going to carve up. You're going to bring the elbows back. You're going to put your hands in your back pocket. You're going to slice through the air. You're going to come back to your back pocket. Serve the food, come all the way around, it's a circle. Toss the arms to the side, right, and then to the left. So, the, and then this arm can start again. One, two, this is three, this is four, five is in the back pocket, six, slice the air, seven, serve the platter, come all the way around, that's a whole circle. Toss to the side, toss to the other side. Your feet might move around a little bit. We'll start with our feet comfortably apart. Just work on the arm pattern, right? Okay, let's try that. Let's 
try one more time. One. What's the time here? Up. Back. One. Three. One. Three. One. Three. One. Two and three. How'd you do? Okay, let's do a little bit of ballet now. We're going to do plies, which most of you have done before maybe. Um, and we're going to do them in first parallel position, then ballet first, then ballet second. And so we'll do it on the right and left. What we're going to do is start with a non-traditional ballet arm. We're going to straighten the arms. They're going to be slightly in front of you and press. Then we're going to do first position arms, nice and round. Then we're going to do a little wrist to a higher arm and then rotate the arms down and let the elbows come in. Then we're going to tilt to the side, come center, tilt to the other side, come center. Then we're going to try to do what's called an eleve or releve from a plie, rise up and come down. Then we have to do the left side, yes? We're here, we're here, and the only thing that's different here is we tilt high on the left and then we tilt high on the right and then the rest of this is all the same. Plie and rise. Change positions to ballet first. Change positions to ballet second. So that's the exercise. Let me turn on the music. Five, six, seven, and eight. This is one, two, sorry. One and two. One. This is a little slower. Three and a four and a five. Six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the ta-da moment. Plie. Straight. That's my lamp. Five, six, seven. First position. One, two. Wrist. And four, five, and a six, and a seven, and an eight. Side and side. Rise up and lift, 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 and left side. First ballet, first position, and one and a two and a. Take four counts. Three, four, one, two. Three and four, tilt one. Straighten. Tilt one and straight. Let's rise. Demi, the ta-da moment. Yay! Lift, lift, lift. Second position, let's take a minute. Little wider position. Six, seven, and an eight. Two and a one. One. Two and a one. Deeper plie. This is my favorite. Two and a three and a four. Five, six. Tilt to the right. One and two. And four and one, two. Rise up. Ta da. One. Rise. Stay. Oops. Balance. Last time. Here we go. Three and four. Wrist, one, two, deeper three, deeper four, five, six, high on the left, one and two. And rise, last time. Good, and hold. Now we're going to do some balancing exercises. Uh, with this creative aging, we try to practice balancing. I tell my clients to stand on one leg when they brush their teeth. That's a good idea. But dance class, we're on single leg a lot. It's very good for our balance, reduces our risk for falling. So this one's a little tricky. You slide to go to a balance. Let me back up to keep me in the screen. You slide down and you come up. Then you're going to curve away from center. Then you're going to lift, and then you're going to come down. Let me scoot over. To the side now, same leg to the right. 
side, drag the leg. This time we're going to tilt to the side. We come back to center, we lift and we close. Then we go to the back, to the back and lift the foot off, extend, come center and come down. So when you're taking the leg, when you do the first one, you're to the front of yourself. Your center of gravity is here, so you're going away from the center, then you have to catch that neutral position and come down. Then, this ever so hard one, you tilt to the side, you have to come and find your center of gravity. The end of the day, like now, I'm not quite as balanced. Excuses, excuses. And now the one to the back, I'm gonna be on two feet. Your palms rotate back and you lift to the ceiling. Think about lifting this as if a partner is lifting you up. Don't drop your head or splay your belly at all, which is tempting to do. It's a little tiny movement. So imagine yourself, you have a partner and he's lifting you up. Yes, front side, back, other side. That's what we'll do. Let me get the music. Okay, this is fast, so we don't have to balance too long. Five, six, seven, eight, one. One. repeat it front side back and front side back so in my second class we'll do um, a longer balance for that because we want to build muscle endurance okay so let's stretch these are just five positions I think are really important to to do this creative aging class so that we have the flexibility in our legs and our back the first one is just a lunge and the second one is a flat back and I'm just gonna turn on the music and you're just gonna mirror me and we'll go through it Okay, our first stretch is just a lunge. We want to have our back toe directly in front of that heel. And we want to drop the shoulders down and back and hold on to something here. You'll feel a nice stretch in your calf. You should feel it all the way up the leg. Usually we hold about 30 to 60 seconds. Maybe not quite that long right now. You can go back and do these flat back now. Flatten. Try to make a nice long line so your head and your shoulders are in line. Let's stretch our hip flexors, the front of the leg that get real tight when we sit a lot and do computers. And breathe. We're going to pick up the back leg. This lets us stretch the, the quads. And if you can't pick up your ankle and hold your foot, you can hold your pant leg for those of you that aren't quite as flexible. You can also let go of your arm and do the dancer's pose. When you're done with that, crisscross. Let's stretch these external rotators here on the leg. Always thinking of pressing the shoulders down and back like we talked about at the beginning of class. Let's go to the other side. Right leg, right toes facing to the front. Now, if you get here and you don't feel it all, you can go further forward on this front knee. Now I'm like, ouch in the couch, I really feel my calf. And in order to get a true stretch, you have to stay at least 30 seconds. So. 
flat back. Drop those shoulders towards the hip. You don't want to be tense in the upper body just because you're trying to stretch these hamstrings. Hip flexor, pushing forward. The pelvis is tilted forward. You can squeeze your shoulder blades in back. That feels so good. I think, hopefully it feels good to you. Okay, here we go. Pick up that foot for the pant leg. Get nice and tall. Feel the length. Crisscross. Last one. You can lean on your furniture if you want here. in your spine and your legs. Um, now we're going to do a higher leg. Um, sometimes we drag our legs around. We don't get a chance to really lift them unless you're doing yoga and a lot of high kicks for another reason. But in this creative aging class we try to strengthen and, and get some flexibility and strength in our legs. So we're going to do what's called a Batman ballet and we're going to do it from first position but we're going to start with a, a degage. We're going to take our arms just to the side and these are a little bit rounded. This is a ballet arm. Ballet teachers don't like the way modern dancers spread their fingers so you can, if you're a ballet dancer too, you can round it. We're going to brush to the front with the right leg. We're going to lift it up and hold. We're going to bring it back down and close. Real important that when you lift this leg, you can only lift it as high as you can maintain this neutral spine. If you're tucking here, you've gone too high. So, we're going to go like this. One, 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 one. Brush. Feel that stretch. And plie and release. And degage. Tendu, degage. Point and close. Higher leg. Close and release. To the back. One, three, five, eight, and plie, and then we'll go to the side again, because in ballet we do en croix, front, side, back, and side. Then we do the other leg. So, this leg, we're going to actually start brushing the right leg, so the left leg gets a lot of work before you change to the other side and stand on the right. All right, let's go. so your leg can clear the floor. Here we go. And point. And lift. And point. And close. Up. And six. Breathe out. And swing. And point. Lift. Point. Close. Up. One. Close. Try not to move that spine. Stay real strong. Three. And four. Five. Hardest to the back. Yeah. And side. And point. Lift. Point. Second side, and one, up, da -da. trying to stay strong up top, to set the example, and one, three, five, eight, up, one, three, five, to the back, yo, lift, point, brush, we got one more guys, to the side, and one, lift, point, close, brush, five, Six and seven and eight. Nice high legs, you guys. Nice job. Okay, let's work on our combination that maybe someday when this lifts, this whole pandemic is, is a better situation for us to leave the house and take class. You can come to the Creative Aging class. I want to say hi to my Liberty Station and my Carlsbad students that might be watching. And of course, we invite anybody to join the class. We are a happy crowd. We love to have new people. So we worked on an arm pattern. We're gonna do that now and we're gonna add some legs so you're gonna travel in your rooms a little bit. And the first traveling we're gonna do is to the right. We're just gonna do the right side today. And forward and back. And do you remember the arms? They go side, side. When you do this, you come forward and then you go back. So I'm gonna back up just a little bit. Then we go in the back pocket. Then we slice two, three. Then we go. We bring our leg and arm in four, five, six, seven, eight. 
We're gonna go step together, wrap, a little step together, wrap the other way. Then hopefully we can come back to center doing this side to side. Forward and back, back pocket, lunge way out, make it big. Here, carve the arms around, step cross in front, see that? Step cross in front, and if you wanna be fancy, go ahead and pick the leg up there. That's a little passe in parallel position. So we can pick up the leg there. So we go side, side, forward, back, back pocket, our feet come together, right? Then we slice out. Then when we bring this arm in to do the server around, our feet are together, and then we continue going this way and continue going the other way. Let's use this beautiful music and have you try. tempo and then later we can make it faster. Four counts here. One, two, three, four, side, two, three. That was the intro. Five, six. Do we come running on? One, three, four, one. Take your time. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's take a minute. Start again. Three. One, two. Have fun. One, two, three, four, one, two. Here's all the space. Scoop down and up. One, three. One, three. And serve the platter. One, and two, and three. And one and two. Let's go again. Last time. One, two. Big steps. Eat up all your room. One, two, three, four, one. Four. This gets four. Three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. Then you go off and the next group comes. Nice. 